Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we're going to be jumping in to helping Tulin get his bow back from one of the Arakudas. Yeah, so anyway, we got it back. Gotta get it back, help him out. Really, thanks. Did you know that I could blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too, that way you can glide over to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. So now we have an ability from one of our teammate characters, Tulin, over here. So he's got the power of wind, and uh, we can use that in order to glide forward like that, which is so cool. So as we do that, we'll be all set and ready to go. Uh, I mean, I could do this, honestly, if I have a keys eyeball. I, I do have a keys eyeball. I'm going to launch it right there. And that's it, done. So the Keys Eyeball, fusing it to an arrow will allow you to throw an arrow that has like a homing device on the top of it. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. Oh, there's more of them. Uh-oh. Yeah, these are blue bokoblins? Great, man. These guys got to hurt. I'm just going to use everything at my disposal. All right, they're not going to make a fool of me twice. Uh, let's go get them together. Yeah, can you please? What? No. The blue one. What? That's a water. Oh, I'm using the wrong choo-choo. Help. I thought I had the ice one selected. Dude, this guy's being a, a punk. Hello, can you not? And I don't like using the spear either. Gross. Give me a sword. All right, now fight me. Come here. Oh, you're lucky I stepped on that. You want some of this? Let's go, buddy. Let's go, blue boy. What you got? Hit me. Ooh, not today. See, if I could focus on him, I'll be fine. Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, I do not like spears. Because, like, with spears, you can't shield while you're holding them because it's a two-handed weapon. We did it! Okay, hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Okay, huh? Was that the wind? Uh, it couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Hey, Tulin, Link! Huh? Oh. Look who it is. Yo, what's up, Hearth? That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it, but I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those things. Uh, I thought it was I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we're treating you like a small chick. Yeah, you were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me this whole time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlikely to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. And it was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, it seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get the to the bottom of it sitting around here. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You say the princess soared into. Huh, yeah, but I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report coming in here, and I think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside the cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way is in through the top. And there's not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts of wind. Uh, Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh, you know who said that to me? Your old dad, Taba. Dad said that. Yep, 
and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Oh, give me all this stuff. Give me that falcon bow. Cool. Bacoblin horns. Yo, I earned all of this stuff. Uh, give me that bacoblin horn for starters. What did what did he say? Something about the sky surface. Oh, that's way up there. I I don't I don't think I have access to that. So I think we're gonna have to go up there manually. I would like the falcon bow, please. I'm gonna get rid of this. Yeah, I got a falcon bow. Cool. All right, well, let's move on. Let's move on, and let's make our way all the way up the mountain. Oh, because as you can see over there... Uh, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to climb this thing. Yeah, as you can see over there, there's going to be some, like, uh, different sky islands that are making their way all the way up towards the top. All the way right up above me over there. That's exactly where we're going to go. Alright, Zonite Sword. I love the Zonite Swords. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of this wooden stick. And we got a Zonite Sword in our inventory now. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah, that was not right. We're fine. We're fine. I could climb this. Yeah, things are now going to get a lot colder. Because we are way up in the high altitudes of the game. So let's just climb up as best we can. At least I hope I can. Yeah, this peak looks looks pretty pretty climbable. I think we can. Yeah, yeah, I'll get up here. But going all the way up there, that's where we're going. Like right, like so like it may look like there's just something floating in the sky over there, but we're gonna be on top of that. And we're gonna get inside that blizzard. So let's do it. Okay. Okay, this is looking pretty good right now. Um, I don't see anything that would help me climb up there. Oh, here we go. Sweet. I don't think I want to go fight with these guys. I mean, I could though. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's be a uh, a silent observer over here. I'm going to break the barrier. And we're going to do a fight of Bacoblins versus Constructs. All right, let me know at home. Who's going to win this battle? Yeah. Who's going to win the ba battle? Bacoblins or the Constructs? Ready, go. Make it happen. Hello? There you go. Fight, fight, fight. It's 3v3. Oh, dude, the Bacoblin has... An ice spear? Oh, I'm done. Oh, gosh. I was not ready for that. Help. Don't even think about it, man. Dude! I accidentally fell down! <laughs> and I was shielding! Oh. Oh, man. It was, I knew, I knew I should not have been like an observer. Oh, so annoying. All right, let's try again. I slipped right off, man. Every time I slip right off. I'm going to start picking at the blue one. Oh, pick at the blue one, pick at the blue one. Hey, what you going to do about it? He's going to throw a snowball at me? Oh, he's going to throw, wow, he threw a rock literally from the bottom. Come on, Constructs, get him! I want the Constructs to win. Because I do not like these guys. Get him, Constructs! Go! Yeah, the Constructs are using, like, flamethrowers on them. Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. And they're taunting him, too. Where's the blue one? Can you just... Oh, there's the blue one. No? No? What is, what is happening? Oh, 
Okay, I got this now. You cannot do that, dude. He has super armor through my hits. That's unbelievable. Ah, oh, gross. How much is this? One heart? Oh, gosh. All right, fine. Where'd the blue guy go? I don't think the blue bacoblin got knocked out. I'm honestly just here for the, uh, the weapons. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, flamethrower! Help! Oh my... I'm done! Dude, he has a flame shield, and he just launches flames at me. I'm done with these guys. I can't. I can't right now. I can't, man. I cannot. I cannot. All right. I'm not going to be conservative on, on arrows. I'm just, I'm going, I'm going after them. They're mine now. Here's the thing. Oh, shoot. I just threw my weapon. No. <laughs> I'm not going conservative anymore. I'm done. I will eventually find more arrows and I will find more stuff. So don't even worry about it. Here we go. Enjoy. All right. I'm going to hit their boss. I'm gonna hit all you guys, man. I'm done. This guy with the flame shield, though? Can we talk about that? This one, right here. This is the guy. You know what? Maybe I wanted the Bokoblin to win. Oh, that guy's frozen still. Yeah, it's a 2v2. Yeah, it's a 1v1 now. Alright, I'm coming. Oh, gosh. You are not taking that icicle club. Thank you very much. Look at that one. Oh, he's just firing away. What a guy. Oh, you think you're slick, huh? Oh, oh. Why am I crouching? Yeah, yeah, knock him out. Okay, what about you? What about you? You think I'm afraid of you? I'm not. Tulin, man. Hey, hey, I need Tulin to start doing some work over here. Tulin's just being passive. Who got frozen? Oh, you did. Okay. Well, he was frozen a while ago. So you're telling me that if you got frozen, then you stay frozen? Huh. Well, if that was the case, then I could just chill here all day. I thought you were... Uh, yeah, I, I, I assumed that that was the other way around. All right, Icicle Club. Nope, not for you. Uh, let's go Feathered Edge, Wind Burst. And it seems like as they're frozen, their health is draining. So that's actually really cool. All right, third time's a charm with knocking that out. Not not that big of a deal. All right, we got some really cool weapons here, but uh, I'm I'm not really not really interested. What do I have? Is there a flame emitter anywhere? Dude had a flame shield. Where did it go? Do I just not get it? Ugh, I have too many weapon syndrome right now. Like, I just got too many weapons and I can't pick up the good stuff. So, yeah, welcome to it. I don't see a flame emitter anywhere. So, like, I mean, I could actually build, like, um... Something to, like, fly upwards, but I... I don't, I don't think I need to. I'll be fine. Let's just manually walk up there. That took way too long, by the way. All right, so now I have to just be, I have to be a little bit more aggressive with like freezing them because I have so many materials that I could just freeze accordingly. Well, see you later, dude. All right, he's gone. I don't think I can ascend up there. Okay, I think I can make this with my, I think I'm still wearing my climbing gear. Yeah, yeah, he's got the short sleeve shirts on. So since I have climbing gear, I'll be able to make this at maybe 75% left or 25% left. Perfect. Okay, looking good, looking good. We've got some ascending that I could do right over here. Hello? There we go. All right, ascending upwards. We got to climb all the way to the top and we got to get to this wind temple very soon. So that's our goal for right now is getting up there. 
Whoa, look at the Aracuda with snowballs? Those guys are really going to drop snowballs on me. Mm, I don't think so. And even if I did waste an arrow and a Keese eyeball on them, all of their materials would just drop all the way to the bottom. So not even worth doing. What? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know how strong they are either, right? Like, I have three hearts, one missing right now. All right, what you got, man? Uh, if only it were possible to find out what's inside the blizzard. Oh? Uh, well, if it isn't Tulin. I was too busy looking at the cloud, but if you come here, that means, yeah, they said I can go up there. I knew it. Something told me that you were the best one for the mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Uh, you may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find out the truth about the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. Okay, we will do. Alright, between Link and Tulin, we got this. Uh, do you think that this came from somewhere? Hold on, let me see if I can recall it. No, it didn't come from anywhere. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put that right on top. Just to give myself a little bit higher of a, uh, a point. Can I climb this in order to ascend upwards? Yes, I can. Wow, look at that. That's a shortcut. I was not expecting that. Perfect. Go ascend, man. All right, talk about a shortcut. Okay, we got this. Where to? Where are the next Sky Islands? There's one there, and I could probably ascend to it. Oh! Wait, isn't this where I came from? I don't know. But we're going all up it. Here we go. Hey, look at that thing. 15 minutes to get to the Wind Temple. We got it. We got it, man. We had a couple unfortunate battles. But hey, there's a shrine over that way, which is really looking good. Ooh, the cooldown on his gust attack. Come on, kiddo. Yo, man, work on that cooldown, kiddo. Link! It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where she could have gone. Huh? What is that? Yeah, what is that thing? Hey, wait for me. Oh, look at that. It's a boat. Huh? Come. Come. To me. Whose voice is that? Was it coming up uh, somewhere from up there? <laughs> oh yeah. Come to me. Whoa, do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? It's huge. Uh, there's tons of those little flying boats, too. Uh, you know what it reminds me of? A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. It's a song. The whole thing is uh, just like the Song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh, was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Nowhere to go but up. That's right. We're going to be going straight up. We got to go get that shrine too. So hopefully it's an easier shrine that we could just knock out. Oh, check this out. Boing. Yo, Boinger is over here. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, it's the Myaumicus Shrine. Yep, pronounced that right on my first try. <laughs> uh. 
Myalmacus Shrine. Okay, what do we got? Oh, Downward Force. What is this? Wait, what? Oh, I have I have no idea. What's a downward forest? What? <laughs> I've not done the shrine before. <laughs> okay, so what? You had to reach through and hit like a little thing with a spear. If you didn't have a spear, maybe you'd fire an arrow at it. Oh, come on. I don't have time for this. Are we done? No, man. I'm so weak. Oh, Feathered Edge is interesting. I don't really like it, though. I'm not looking at knocking you off. Okay, fine. I wanted your stuff. Trust me, I did. I need that soldier construct horn to sell for like 10 bucks. Downward force of what? Downward force of what? Why is it called downward force? And where's the treasure chest? Tulin! Oh, there's no Tulin! Uh oh. Uh oh, Tulin is not inside the temple. I'm gliding on my own. Okay. We're just straight winging it here. All right, I got, it looks like a treasure chest up above. Looks like maybe I'll be entering from the third thing right over that way. How do I open it though? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's go. Watch this. Cool, and then opens up underneath and I'm gonna go underneath that. Nah. Okay, here we go. Whee! Okay, I think this is the way forward, I'm presuming. I didn't see a treasure chest. Like, anywhere. Did I miss it? Is it over there? It probably is. Okay, hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. No, no, no! Stop it! Better be, like, something good. This is where I would put a treasure chest. Okay, good. Oh, gosh, make it. Thank you. Wow, that was actually really hard to find. Give me, a, like, a sapphire. Ten arrows? Come on, man. Took like 10 bounces to try to get that. Boo. Not a fan. Well, I'll take 10 arrows. And we are through. Okay, cool. I will gladly take that. I think we're sitting on at least four of the Lights of Blessing. Oof. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing great. We're doing great, man. Okay, so we finished off that shrine. Not that hard. I remember the first time I was playing this, I, I walked into the lobby of that and I said, I have no idea how to enter it. Because I didn't realize at the time that there are switches that you can hit like that. So, anyway. Cool. Taking it. Yeah, we got to make our way all the way up. We got this. Five arrows. Cool. Cut me in. Good job. Good job. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, there's a Zonai construct over here. Got it. Freeze! Ice to meet you! Oh, did I break that? Uh, let me see. A Zonite-powered sword. Don't do it! Oh my gosh, I almost lost. See, the thing is, you can't be, like, running and, like, attacking at them because they have super armor and you can't stun them because they'll hit you right through it. That's the hard part, man. Is like, you just want to keep on pressing the attack button, but you can't. And you're just gonna get punished from that. Okay, uh, yeah, we got, we got a long way up, man. We got this, come on, let's find it. Not even caring. I got 73 arrows, and you're gonna eat some of them. Construct bow? Oh, thanks, Tulin, that was great. See ya. And he's gone. Wasted my arrows on him. Perfect. Uh, I can do one jump from here. Okay, great. I think we're good. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could do exactly what we did before with these things. Stack them on top of each other, right? Bring this over here. Climb up top. Easy mode. Okay, check that out. Oh, that is unclimbable, so we're gonna have to somehow go on top of it. Uh, or something along the other lines. I don't know how we're gonna get up there. Let's take a look. Well, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So we're not gonna go directly on top of it unless we can Hylian Pinecone shortcut, which might be a thing. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the Hylian Pinecone right now. Which is probably a shortcut. Uh, where is the sort by type? I have Flint here. Hylian Pinecone brings us pretty high, actually. So if I drop this here and hit that there, and then go this way with the Pinecone Edge. Dude, where is it? Here we go. Of course in the corner where I'm hiding. Wow, that was good! That was a big shortcut. Excellent. I will need Tulin's power for this next spot. So I'm just going to hold off, because I know I can't make that without losing altitude. There we go, good. Yeah, I would have lost a lot of altitude if I didn't do that. So yeah, remember the Hylian Pinecone trick. Always, always comes in handy. Making your own little campfire. Golden, man. Alright, I gotta make this across. Oh, it's a fusion boy. Not a fan of fusion boy. So we're gonna freeze him once he goes upright. Okay, great. Uh, Construct bro, uh, bow broke. I'm gonna go Traveler Sword, and I'm gonna do that, because it's a strong attack. Oh, gosh! Oh, my gosh! I'm, like, I'm literally in his arm range. I could have gotten destroyed, but his arm was extending over me, so I got really lucky. Oof. Yikes, man. Don't like that. Man. Scary. Super scary. What do we have over here? What's down there? Oh, cool! Yeah, should I go get him? Ah, oh, man. I'm at a point where... Yeah, I, I should. I'll just go fight him. It's worth it. Let's go. Otherwise, I'm not gonna fight him. What do I want? What do I want? Give me something strong. Fused by attack power. Hinox horn. Give me, like, um... Bacoblin horn. Great. A 
Okay, give me give me something big. Feathered edge. Where's my spinny aroundy? I guess I'll take the stone axe. Not strong enough, man. Okay. Flux construct. Let's go. Oh, he's going UFO style now? Alright, alright, what you got? What you got? Oof! Three hearts! Holy moly! Oh, man! Three hearts, this guy. Wait, where did it go? No, no, get back, get back, ah! Get back down here. Tulin, shoot it! There we go. I have... Please, Tulin, thank you. I need some help here, buddy. I don't think I could handle this with the current weapons that I own. Oh, man, it's Rockman. Oh, Rockman! Thank you! Good job, kid. Pull his back off. I don't have any meals that give me, like, attack boost, so, like, I am at this baby mode where I do not have enough power for it. I gotta watch out for these rocks, because they are very, very hurtful! Recall myself back. What strong weapons do I have? Traveler's Sword? Maybe Feathered Edge with Wind Burst? I'll try it. It's really not strong, though. He's at half health, so we should be able to knock him out. Oh, come on. Come on, Tulin. Help out, buddy. Tulin, please. Okay, not bad. Not bad. He did some work. Got it. Come on, Tulin, let's go, buddy. Just fire two shots. That's all I need, buddy. Thank you. He fired three of them. Good job, kid. All right, Rockman. Ooh! Wow, that area effect almost got me. Give me that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. I think we can't beat him in this phase. I need one more phase. Oh my gosh, man. UFOing. He's UFOing it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, good. And I'm gonna go with the last one here. We're gonna do this. Wow, this is hard. Coming on up. What weapon do I have? A feathered edge that's about to break. Tulin's not even aiming right. And that's it. Wow. Flux Construct number one done with baby weapons. Oh my gosh. I'm taking the time bomb. Thank you so much. I'm taking the Zonai charge. Thank you so much. I'm taking the flame emitter. And then, of course, I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to put it on my Traveler's Sword. That was so hard. Okay. So that's good. I got this, like, cool Construct Core looking thing that uh, I'm going to use now. So that's great. The question is, how am I getting back up there? Oh, straight through here. Good. Okay, that was a little while. That took a little bit to get up there. Let me see if uh, we can actually get to the very end. I'm going to try to speed through as fast as we can to get to the temple. I think in maybe like five minutes I'll get there. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's like a jail over there. It's really hard. Okay, we could go in the jail. Ow, dude, what? Uh, bomb arrow, really? Let me see. Uh, let's go... Bum, 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 bum. Yep, 
Yeah, I wonder how you would have done that without the bomb arrow. Like, if I wanted to save one. Why do I want to be in here? That's the question. Cool. A treasure chest? I don't need that. I want to get to the temple, man. <laughs> ten arrows, I guess, you know, I'm not complaining about ten arrows. I'm good with that. Yeah, we'll make it 17 arrows. Not bad. All right, so now that we're up here, what we have to do is actually, we have to turn around. We gotta find out where the next spot to fly is. There's some Aracuda flying around over here. Uh, that's where, oh my gosh, we are so close. Oh, thank you, Tulin. Aracuda eyeball, perfect. And we got an Aracuda wing, great. So that's where we got to go eventually. So it looks like it appears that we got to go that way. And I'm good with that actually because I know exactly where we're going. Take a look at this. Oh yeah. And then it's just going to be bouncing on ships all the way over to the blizzard. And we're golden, man. We made it. That was a hard trek all the way up here. It was not easy, but we're here. Let's take a look at this. Huh? Boom! Watch out, even more Aracudas. They're not even worth, like, attacking, because, like, you're not gonna get their drops, you're just gonna waste arrows. Alright, the blizzard is right there. We are so close, I can taste it. That giant, like, flux construct? Man. I took one hit, and it took three hearts away? I'm surprised. What is this? Oh, a cooking pot in case you need it? Haha, <laughs> that's great. There's a cooking pot over here for some chill shrooms. Okay. I'm, I'm... Oh, and look at these. Chill, chill thin trouts? Yeah, I can sell these for money. Give me that. Thanks. I don't need any cooking though, so I'm good. Um, this is a great spot in the event that you didn't make any of your super cold remedy items. That's a great spot to do that. Wow, Aracuda's everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. So we're just making our way up here. Yeah, oh my gosh, we're almost there. Come on, baby. Constructs again, man? Fine. What do I have? What do I have? Sapphire sword? Cool. Freeze them. Oh, these guys were going after the Aracudas too? Yo, he picked up a rock and threw it. What a guy. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I love the ice weaponry. I think they're great. Please don't knock him off. Great. And then this guy's just frozen in his place, which is fine. Thank you, Tulin. Here's an axe. Oops, not enough. Hey, Tulin, I'm kind of low on arrows. Can, can you help me out, big guy? Oh no, I needed that stuff. Boo. Alright, got my shield. I got my Aracuda wing. Alright, we're fine. We're moving. Whoa, not today! Not actually today! Nope! Let's see. White choo choos. Good. Me! Too close! Oh my gosh! Uh, maybe I should have cooked some food. I don't have a lot. I went too close? Unbelievable, man. And then I ate my own hit. I don't know how I'm gonna get past this. I don't have any food I should have cooked. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> well, luckily we got some portable stoves, uh, so we should be fine. Hey, man! I, I guess we're doing like a one-two punch combo, which is- Oh my god, he just- Boy picked up a bomb! Oh my gosh, man. Oh, yo, what do you have on your arm? Oh, he shot me in the head! I'm almost out of choo-choo jellies, man. 
Dude, a time bomb? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop this right here. See you later, buddy. Wait, that's not how it works? Okay. This is not gonna work. Okay, forget him. Hey, please don't! Yo, that's a time bomb club? No thanks. Dude, because one hit on the time bomb, it's gonna explode. Alright, I think we're, we're pretty much here. Okay, this is scary. It's really high stakes because I don't have any healing. And uh, that's not fun when that happens, so... Alright, so I'm gonna take Flame Emitter. Put that right here. I'm gonna take Balloon. Balloon. Put that on top of here. Nope. Almost. Very close. Very close. Now. Okay. We're going. I don't have a weapon. Okay. And we have liftoff. Pretty cool build, huh? Alright, alright. We're going high in the sky. But this is not what we need. We need to go right here. Scary, man. It's almost like a speed run. <laughs> like, hey, dude, one mistake and you're done. Yeah, the game's like, hey, man, maybe you maybe you should use this cooking pot over here. I'm like, ah, I don't need it. I'm all right. I'm good. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Are we, th are we there yet? I feel like a kid in the back seat. Are we there yet? Almost. Almost, kiddo. There's another shrine? Did I underestimate how long this takes? Oh my goodness. The air is very cold now. So remember we packed all these like winter recipes? We now have cold resistance um, two levels. So we should be good. I hope this doesn't break my knees. Okay, good. Two shrines. Okay, I think we're at the summit. It's my first time flying up this high. It's pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Yeah, don't worry. I got seven minutes on the clock. I'm, I'm kind of rushing over here. And yeah, that's the end. That is absolutely the end over there. Okay, great. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop open this Katan... Kahatanaum Shrine. I'm going to pop this open... We're going to save right beforehand. I'm going to do the Kahatanam Shrine, and then we're going to do the Wind Temple. And then we're done. It's going to be great. Cool. Great. It's a perfect time to save the game. Uh, I do have that timer running, so we got to go quick, man. Otherwise, I'm not going to make it. Dude, the game is getting really exciting. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and we will see you guys on the next one. Take care.